Okay guys, so right now we're doing kind of a Q&A. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How, how kind of what kind of timing was that? Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> we'll make the story more interesting. <laughs> Okay, take number two. Uh, so, hi guys. So basically, uh, we are doing a Q&A between both our channels. So if you want to see part one of the Q&A uh, about travel and how to be travel vloggers and all bunches of different sort of things about us, uh, start off with her channel. I'll leave the description down below. Uh, and basically... Wait, you got to introduce me who I am, right? Oh, it's Angela. There you go. <laughs> 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 this is Angela. Angela is a travel writer, travel blogger. No, and I'm a travel YouTuber. writer. A travel writer, a but YouTuber. Trying to become one travel blogger. Travel blogger. And uh, I met her three days ago at a big event in the evening. In and, Bangkok. In Bangkok. And I asked her, well, do you want to come with me? Oh, no, actually, I asked her, what are you doing tomorrow? And then she said, nothing. nothing. And then I said, do you want to come with me on a grand adventure to the Thailand Islands? Which is a plane flight away. Like a legit, we have to go to the airport and fly to another destination. And she said yes. So, so guys. She said yes! Guys, <laughs> if, you, if you guys want to meet someone abroad and take them on a vacation, just say those words. That's, her. Oh, that's, that's the worst advice in the world. That, that's a stinky cheese, okay? That's a stinky cheese. Okay, question number I'll start. Okay. Question number one, suitcase or backpack and why? Actually, you didn't even bring any this time. You didn't bring any bags. You brought one bag. It's like a gym bag. With the... Yeah, it's a gym bag. I got a gym bag to come to Aonang. Um... I've been always traveling with a suit. Well, no. Oh, I started with traveling with a suitcase, but that was like a few years ago. And and then I started to make longer journey. And I actually think that backpack is much more convenient to bring around, even though it's very heavy to carry. But then um, it's faster somehow. I mean, either suitcase or backpack, um, they have both disadvantage and advantages mm. while traveling. But I would prefer a backpack. Yeah, I would prefer a backpack. I think most most travel bloggers that I know carry a backpack just because we have so much camera equipment that we have to bring, and yeah. it's about mobility because you can't. So. If you go to some certain city, so let's say Prague and Czech Republic, where it's all cobblestone roads and you know that the wheels are going to get wrecked on your suitcase. Oh yeah, definitely. I got like few suitcases uh, totally destroyed, broken. right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I think backpack really wins at the end of the day because it's just so much more versatile. You, you have to carry less though because it doesn't have that much space. About 75 mil. I think it's pretty okay. But you know, I, I think that Carrying a backpack could like give you the opportunity to do a little exercise at home because yeah. it could be very heavy. But that's why I'm Thailand. My shoulders are so messed up from my backpack that I need to get massages every day. I can did a massage. That? Can we do that today? Today. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, we'll go for a massage and then we'll go like yeah, swim in the ocean. Yeah. It's raining right now, but you know, if yeah. we're raining and it's a massage, who cares? Okay, sounds good. Alright, your turn. Camera or phone? For what? What do you mean? If you have to carry... Okay. So if you have to carry only one equipment... Phone. That's a stupid question, right? That is a stupid question. Yeah, that's a very stupid question. <laughs> okay. You need, your, you need your phone in order to book flights and things and yeah. keep itineraries. <laughs> and it has a camera on the back. That's fair. That's a stupid question. That's a very stupid question. Okay. That question didn't count, but I'm going to leave that in this one because I, I want to make fun of her after. Oh, God knows. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, uh, While she's thinking, what do you think her accent is? I don't have an accent. I don't think anyone can guess it. No one. I'm pretty sure people I bet. can guess. Yeah. No. It's not that easy at all. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> Description box. Description box. Ask. Oh, no, actually. No, no we comment ask. Below. Comment, comment below. below. Comment below. I, I, I would be very interested in uh, checking how actually your audience think where I'm from. So, actually, yesterday I taught him how to ride a motorbike or a scooter. It went okay. It's kind of scary being on the back. But, actually, I wonder how you feel on a bike. Oh, it's fun. Oh my god. I wanted to ride a scooter so badly. I was just afraid that I would have to learn clutch and I would have to learn like a whole bunch of different things. But, no, apparently it's full automatic. It's like riding a bicycle except it has power, which is pretty cool. It was just super easy. The thing that for me about this country is that everyone drives on the left side of the road and in North America everything is on the right side, so I get confused. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Yeah, so she's like, there was a period yesterday where I was driving on the wrong side of the road and I was like, oh, did that happen? Shit. It was so scary, seriously. <laughs> Um, but you know, other than that, that's like a part of the adventure. Just learning, make mistakes. I don't know if you actually feel like how I feel on a motorbike. Uh, because actually recently I traveled through Vietnam on a motorbike. Yeah. And at first I was so scared. But then um, the late, the later on I felt so free and I actually enjoyed riding the motorbike. Sometimes I hated it because it broke so often and the oh, road... Oh, these things break pretty often? Yeah, the road, the road in Vietnam was terrible and I felt exhausted while driving the motorbike there. But then, when you just... When, when I got back on the bike, I started to feel great again and, and I just felt all the freedom to bring me from one place to the other and yeah, it's fascinating. So that's the reason why I really like driving a bike. Mm. It kind of gives me a freedom, so I don't know if you could actually feel it. Because no. it, could, it could probably be different from driving a car. I sure. actually think if you are in Thailand, so in Thailand, you're gonna think, when you arrive here, you're gonna think, oh man, everything here is so cheap. That's 50 cents, that's 50 cents, that's 50 cents, that's $3, that's $2. And then when you compare it to like your home, where like, a taxi cab is like $40, then uh, you're just like, haha, this is amazing. Then you realize everyone in this country is trying to scam you somehow, and they're trying to maximize how much money, you know, it's still exactly. tiny amounts of money. It is still very, very tiny amounts of money, but like for a Thai person, they pay 50 cents Canadian, where they'll try to charge an American, what's 500 baht? Oh, yeah. What, what is 500 baht? That's like $10? 3300 baht is like $10. Like 12 Like it's like $20, $15, $20 for a taxi cab ride. Uh, and it's just... So the reason why I bring that story up is when you get a scooter here, that alleviates having to deal with anybody. And now you're exactly. free to go wherever you want without having someone approach you or no having to hustle. Or have, right. And that is the number one thing I love. That's the number one thing I enjoy about Thailand right now. It's just having the yeah. freedom to not have to deal with anybody. Exactly. Driving a motorbike gives you such a great flexibility. And it's great. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Even if you don't have a driver's license, you can still do it. <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So your my, turn. My turn. Okay. So, what is your favorite destination this year? So Ooh. far. Since you're flying back to Canada after Thailand, so I guess this is Thailand is your last destination, right? Yeah, Thailand's my last destination, so far, I think. This year. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Uh, I believe Taiwan was probably was really, really good. I think I wasn't really expecting Taiwan to be so amazing as it was. Um, and... Sorry, Taiwan. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, just the, even the amount of national, national parks and the... When I, I guess when I arrived in Bangkok, Bangkok was like, it's a completely flat city. It's on the lowlands of the country. So, 
I thought, well, if that's what's the case here, then you know, I don't think that's very visually attractive. Where Taiwan, everything's beautiful. Mm, right okay. from the get-go. I haven't been there yet, but I might yeah. want to go. Yeah, if you have a chance, go see the national parks, because they are absolutely stunning. And Japan used to colonize uh, Taiwan during the Second World War. So you're going to see a lot of Japanese architecture and a lot of Japanese, because they're, because they're so close. So if you're into Japanese culture, but you want something that's more of a twist, something mm -hmm. that's like a little bit different, uh, and something that's a lot more unique, a mixture between the Chinese culture and Japanese culture, then that Taiwan is the place, place to go. Plus, food is amazing. Like, Jesus Christ. Taiwanese? Taiwanese food is I amazing. I like their bubble tea. What is your main criterion at the moment? Main criterion? Sorry? Well, explain. So, what is your main criterion for the future when it comes to travel vlogging or whatever you're doing right now? Oh, well, I am a producer, a cinematographer, producer, editor, everything. I'm pretty much, I can do anything really. Uh, and the idea is that I want to make sure that the content I create is something that's entertaining for you, the viewer. So that means that my content may or may not be super, super factual mm -hmm. because that is not my goal. My goal is to create content that's going to make you laugh, make you cry, do all these sort of things. Uh, and it's about living a life through adventure and bringing people and adventure. Living life is the way. coolest. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I just that is my main that is my main idea. And next year we have a lot of crazy things lined up back to back, so it's gonna be cool. a crazy thing next year. It's insane that we only have like 30 days left of the year. I know. Of 2016. Then we go straight into. Oh my god, I'm getting old. <laughs> she's like, she's not anywhere close to my age. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I think, I don't really want to talk about what's coming up just yet, but it's going to be huge. The stuff that I plan is going to be really, really, really massive. We probably, I should probably start getting financing for all these different projects that we're planning to do. All right. All right. Well, good luck, good luck. No, thank you. You have 30 days till 2017, so... Well, shit. Oh, is today December 1st? Yes! Oh, it's my birthday in 30 days. There you go. 29. 29 days. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are... It's right now raining. But we have to return our motorbike back to where we rented from. They actually have my passport, so, yeah, so we got I, need, her. I need to like yeah. book it. So I've already seen her stuff on her, her channel and it's really, it's gonna skyrocket. So make sure you like Hope and so. subscribe her her channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you. Like and subscribe and peace out. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can we get a belt? I look creepy. Change it. I really liked the way my camera...